what's up guys in today's video i'm going to get rid of these old coils and uh, and here i got some audi r8 uh, cops this will give uh, this will give a lot uh, stronger spark it has for every single spark plug a coil so yeah in the old setup it had two coils for four spark plugs and now it has one for each i uh, recap the spark plugs to 0.8 millimeters I will need to do in the future an adapter plate here for the for these coils because now they are just sitting on the top of the spark plug it does stay in place but yeah in the in long term i will have to figure out some something okay so here here i am with the wiring i got most of it done and i will leave it like that so i can make changes if something's not okay later i will uh, cover all the wirings wires up Lengthwise, uh, it's good. All of them are in place and they are in a good position. I cut the wires to length. Four of them goes into the connector here on the car, and uh, two goes to the ECU. Okay, so I connected up to the connector, and here the green one goes to the first uh, coil, and the blue one goes to the second coil. These two go to the ECU, and they are for the third and fourth coil. Okay, so I kind of finished with the wiring. I put some protection on them, and yeah, uh, something's not alright. I I'm trying to use sequential uh, spark as spark output, but it just doesn't want to run right. Okay, so if everything's right, uh, it should run right now. So let's see. just running on the two cylinders. Okay, so I figured it out. Currently, with this ECU, the sequential function doesn't really work. So I went back to wasted cop. That way, the, there's only two outputs which control the 1 and 4 and the 2 and 3 coils so yeah on wasted spark uh, it's, mer it's uh, working it's working perfectly so I will leave it like this the green wire goes to the 1 and 4 coils and the blue goes to the 2 and 3 coils and uh, here are the settings that I changed here, here I set it to wasted cop other than that the settings are remain the same here and here in the dwell settings i had to adjust the dwell compensation which uh, in term of how many voltages in the battery it will adjust the dwell time and the, there's a dwell map that's also you need to adjust it all these settings i got off of the internet so okay so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys in the next one Bye.